What's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be going over how websites work. So if you're somebody who's curious of the inner workings of the internet, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, let's define what a website is. Simply put, a website is a collection of web pages that are accessed through the internet. Each web page contains a text, image, video, and other multimedia content. And this is designed to be viewed in the web browser whether it be Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Now let's talk about how websites work. When you type a website's URL into your browser's address bar, your computer sends a request to the website server. The server is a computer that stores all the website's files and data, and it's responsible for sending those files back to your computer in response to your request. Once the server receives your request, it sends back a response that includes the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that make up your web page that you requested. HTML is just the hypertext markup language that defines the structure and content of the web page. CSS cascading style sheet is a styling language that defines how the web page looks. And JavaScript is a programming language that allows for dynamic interaction on the web page. So after your browser receives all these files, it then uses these files to render the web page on your screen. It reads the HTML code to create the structure of the web page, uses the CSS code to style the page, and executes the JavaScript code to make the web page interactive. Now let's talk about the key components that make up a website. First, there's the domain name. This is a human readable address of a website. For example, google.com or youtube.com. Then we have hosting, which is like a service that stores the website's files and makes them accessible on the internet. There's also the content management system or CMS, which is the software that allows the website owner to create, edit, and publish content on their websites. A CMS could be things such as WordPress or any website builder. For us programmers though, this is just the files that we use to program. Finally, let's talk about some of the different types of websites that exist. There are static websites, which are made up of fixed unchanging web pages then there are also dynamic websites which use the databases and programming language to generate content on the fly we also have e-commerce websites which allow users to buy and sell products so that's a brief overview of how websites work and I hope you found this video useful and informative if you have any questions or comments please let me know down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more content like this I will see y'all in the next one peace